This is Amber, this is our standard poodle. Um, I'm Lisa Leedy, and we're gonna start off by doing Amber's uh, feet. Um, the owner of this dog, they were going to start putting her into a um, English saddle trim, but they decided against it. Uh, so we're gonna start with the feet. And I like to do my feet with a 30 blade. And I wanna bring it right up to my ankle joint. So what I'll do is I'll put my hand there so I don't go above it. And I'm gonna clip against the grain. Good girl. And I wanna make sure I get around my Okay, and the reason why I chose to do a 30 blade on her rather than a 40 is because she is a lighter color and I don't want her to clip or burn. First of all, I don't know her, I just met her. So rather than having her owner tell me later on that we irritated her feet, I'm just gonna bring my blade down a little bit. Always take it to be safe than sorry. Okay, make sure you get around your toenails real well. And always use like a scooping motion. I know, baby girl. And I'll put my finger and push up in between the center toes so that I can get in between there real well. It's kind of hard from this angle to make sure I get everything, so I have to keep looking around here. She wants to sit down, so I'm going to support her. Whoa, it's all right. There you go. She doesn't want in between these two toes done. It's all right, something going on there. Huh? That's a good girl. So I'm supporting her back leg on my arm so that it's not just up in the air. And I'm using a scooping motion in between the toes so I don't cut the webbing. Good girl. Now when I do the underside of her foot, I like to take my first finger, bend it down across the two center toes, take my thumb and my second finger so I can spread apart her foot. <laughs> Let me switch hands. So I can spread apart her toes and I can get in there nicely. Now she's not used to having this done. She wants to fight a little bit. But once they get used to it, they actually don't mind it because the foot is more open. 
she wants her foot back. So I'm going to move my hand with her so that I'm not pulling against her. And I'm just going to kind of let her fight it out a little bit, have a little bit of an argument over who gets the foot, her or me. Never go against them. Always move with them, but don't let go. She's riding a bike. <laughs> Stay, honey. Okay. So I'm going to support her at the hock. Cause she's... We'll let her win this argument of spreading apart her toes. But I'm holding on to her biggest joint. And offering it to be support. I'm going to move down to her foot so that her foot is flat on my hand. So I can scoop in between those pads. I'll also clean her toes from the bottom. I'll spread them apart so I can get the bottom part of the toe that I didn't get from the top so that I can even get underneath the toenail nice and clean. Good girl. No, honey. She does not like the bottom of her feet done. But by doing the bottom part of the pad down here, I don't have to dig in as deep. Some groomers don't like to clear the back part of the back pad. They'll just take it down to the bottom. I like to give that little big pad, I like to expose that, okay? And bring it up to the knuckle. You can see she has very nice tight feet, okay? If she was more flat-footed, I would leave her foot lower. I wouldn't shave it quite up so high to that ankle joint. I try and hide that she has flat toes, but she has a very nice compact foot. And I see a piece of hair sticking out that's bugging me. There we go. Okay, again, let's see if we can start on the side here, come right up to that ankle joint. I don't like to go above the ankle joint. It makes them look like they're wearing uh, capri pants. Again, I'm supporting her big joints. Scooping in there. Let's see if she'll let me spread it apart. There we go. Good girl just so we can get in there easier with the scooping motion. And I can come from either direction to clean that out. I like using one of the smaller clippers for this. It makes it easier to get into these tight places rather than using one of the bigger clipper blades. I'm 
my toy poodles, I use just one that has a 30 blade on it. The mini Arco or the mini Mos the mini Mosier or the mini Figura. I do from underneath her pad. Between all of these toes from the bottom. I'll push down on the toe a little bit to make that nail come a little bit forward. Good girl. I don't want to hold her foot up too high to cause her any discomfort. But if she feels like she can't support herself, I'll let her lean into me. So that I'm offering her support. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, now I can come to the front. Again, I'll support her foot on my arm. And I just have to do the top of her foot and the top part of her toes. Good girl. And I'm going to push up and spread in between her toes. Stay, honey. Let me raise her up a little bit here. So she's more at my level. All right. There you go, pretty girl. And by doing the foot this way with separating the top and the bottom, you'll actually get through cleaning your feet faster. And who doesn't like to save time on clean feet? I want to make sure my clipper line is real straight. I wrap my knuckle because then it's going to make it easier to set in a nice bevel. I don't want a crooked line. So even on the back side, I want to make sure it's nice and straight. the back. Okay, as long as we're back here, I switch to a 10. And I'll shave her tail. Again, I could go with a shorter blade, but since I don't know her, I'm going to play it safe. Underneath. Out to the side. I don't want to go over the rectum. 
side. Underneath. V going there. Okay, so now we have our tail set. The easiest way for to know where your poodle band should be and how long. The easiest thing I find to do is to grab a comb. Sue, do you have a comb? What do you need? A comb. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take a comb. I'm going to place it right at the base of her tail. When I lay it down, that's how far I need to make my tail band. I don't want to go below that point, okay? That'll give her a proper line for where her tail should be set for the band. Okay, we're gonna move to the front feet. So I'm gonna, well, as long as we're here, we're gonna do her belly. Again, I'm gonna use a 10. I don't want to lift her leg up too high so I'm going to do from her belly button, and I'm going to come back. And I want to clean off the meatiest part of her thigh. Make sure you clean up the vulva area real well, or if it was a boy, you clean up the penis area real well. We're going to do the other side. Okay. Okay, we're going to move on to our front feet. Then I'm going to clean out. Make my little open toes. Scoop everything out of that pad. She shouldn't have any hair in there. Once you get the hang of holding a foot this way, it becomes so natural that it actually feels funny when you don't open up the pad. All right, so I'm gonna start cleaning in between the toes from the bottom. So I get the bottom part of those toes cleaned out. This is with a 30 blade. This is a five and one blade, so I just have to flip it over to a 30 blade. This goes from a nine all the way up to a 40. And the blade never gets hot, so I don't have to switch it out. I can use a cord cordless, so even while it's charging, I can use it while I, it's charging and being and corded. She's a very good girl. Probably used to yeah. 
the, the beauties of a poodle. And I'm gonna pull that back so I can set my line where I want it to be. And I think it's just something now that's out of habit because I started it when I was young, learning how to groom. Now I can move my hand because I already have part of my line set in. on top of all my toes before I start going in between. And to make sure my line is nice and straight. Okay, now I can switch hands and clean up in between the toes. I have to find a pair of nail cutters as she needs her nails cut. Huh, I'm sorry? Oh. Did you bring your, did you bring nail cutters? As I said, we're gonna have to get her some nail cutters. Can't send her out without having her nails trimmed. Spreading the toes apart too from the bottom also really help if they have little mats in between the toes, in between that big pad. Yeah, and it's easier to spread that open and get the mats out of there so you're not digging and digging. And our toes. And you can go in both directions so that you can get both sides of the toe. And just turn your clipper around. Um, yes, they do. They last for. Um, the battery life on these is a, a thousand hours, so it does last quite a number of years. It's a lithium battery. I just try, yep, as soon as my, my battery goes down, because it has a little indicator on there, I just charge it up, and if I need it while it's charging, It'll work. Nope. It's a lithium battery. It's okay, pretty girl. I know. I know. If I was a poodle, I wouldn't want my feet shaved either. I'd want to keep them fluffy. Right? Yeah. Good job, baby girl. 
I'm sorry? <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, no, it's coming down. Yeah. You're okay. Almost done. Almost done. And I think this is the, the biggest mistake a lot of groomers make, especially with dogs that don't like things done, is the, the dog will start to fight and pull, and so they automatically let it go. And then that dog learns to fight quicker and give somebody even more of a hard time because they're used to yeah, they somebody they're stopping. You, they're give up. Yep. Yeah, I know, I know. It is it is the exact same thing with horses. Right. Yep. That a girl. Good girl.